Hi guys, how do you do? Welcome to Transition Program Users. Today we're going to talk at uh, we're going to look at something quite interesting. We're going to see how we can use card views in our spinner. Okay, to have a very nice spinner right here. This is it. This is a custom spinner, of course, with card views. Our card views you can see have an image and then multiple text over here. So if you click a single item, then you show the name of that particular spacecraft. You can see right here. Uh, we're going to see how to work with the spinner. And of course our base adapter and of course our card views over here yes this is it this is what we're going to see a custom spinner of course with images and text and also going to see how to handle uh, the item as selected uh, listeners for us okay so join me we get started do i recall this to go ahead create our project right here for already created mine once we've done that one then let's come over right here to our builder cradle Remember, this is a pinner. You want to consist of cards, okay? You are the view items that we are seeing actually were card views. Here, we we'll make sure that we add the dependency for the card view. So please come right here, make sure that you are this particular dependency, then click here to sync our project. Once we've done that one, let's come over right here to our drawable. Then add the images that we're going to be showing, okay? Right here, uh, we're going to be showing a couple of images. So just make sure that you add them in our drawables folder. Now once you've done that one, then let's come over right here to our layout. Of course, we're going to have the activity main, uh, XML. Inside right here, we'll need to make sure that we add our spinner component. Make sure that you assign it an ID. Take note, the layout will have set it to match parent. Then create another layout. For me, I've called it module.xml. This is going to be our custom row right here. It's going to act as our custom row for our spinner, okay? Is going to it's what actually we shall be inflating to represent a single our view item in our spinner. So you can see for me, I'm simply having an image view and then two text views right here that I'm wrapping them inside a linear layout. So that's it, guys. This is what we're going to see. Let's move over. Uh, this is our layouts. Let's move over to our classes. So we're going to have three main classes. First, we're going to have the custom adapter. Of course, we're going to have our main activity. We're also going to have our custom adapter. This is the class that's going to derive from base adapter. We shall be using uh, deriving from base adapter. This is where we shall be inflating this our module.xml out into a single row for our spinner. Then it's also where we shall be binding our data. Then we're also going to have right here another class. This is going to be our module class. Right here, our view item is going to consist of three comp uh, of three values right here the name the propellant and then of course the image okay these are the things the values are uh, the properties that we're going to show so for us this is going to represent a single spacecraft you can see we're going to have these three properties name propellant as well as the image then of course these are their getters and setters so yes once we have that one so first of all let's come over right here to our custom adapter class this class we're going to have a context as well as an array list of space that they shall be passing via the constructor okay so the first thing that we're going to do we're going to come over right here and then derive from base adapter then of course once we've done that one we'll go ahead and then override a couple of methods right here first we're going to have the get count right here we're simply going to return the size of our the total number of space class that we're having no get item we're going to pass the index or the position for that particular item inside this get item method then we shall be returning an object a spacecraft object then item id we're going to use the position as the item id then get view right here we're going to inflate our module.xml and then return it as a view object once we've done of course uh via the constructor we said we shall be passing in the constructor as well uh, the context as well as a release of spacecrafts now inside our get view method let's come over right here what we're doing here first we shall be checking take note we're being passed the int this is a position okay of the item right here then we're also being passed a view object and also the view group so what we're going to do the view that we're being passed first we shall check if it's null now if it is null then we're going to inflate it from our xml layout okay so layout inflator dot from we pass in the context we call the inflate method then we're going to pass in the layout that of course we're going to inflate which is our model layout then we pass in uh, the view group and then where they shall be attached that particular view object shall be attached to uh, our view group right here we say false 
then spacecraft s equal to this dot get item we said this is going to return for us an object we cast it to a spacecraft once we have that one then of course we're going to come uh, and then reference the views that are going to that are going to display our data we're going to have these two text views as well as this particular image view over here right then of course we come and bind our data name txc the set text s dot get name we get our name uh, from our spacecraft then of course the propellant as well as the image then of course we return at uh, that particular view okay so that's it guys this is our custom adapter class main activity first we're going to declare come over right here and then have an array list okay declare an array list that's going to hold all our spacecraft then of course we're going to go ahead and then reference our spinner uh, using the find view by id method so the first thing we come let's come over right here then create a simple method that's going to populate at this uh, spacecraft in fact uh, we're going to re that's going to return for us an array list so what we're doing here is simple no take not spacecrafts equal to new array list and then of course we insertiate it of course once we've done that one then we're going to come over right here spacecraft s equal to new spacecraft we insertiate our spacecraft object we can set the name set the propellant set the image then make sure that we add it to our spacecraft collection we'll go ahead reinsertiate it a set new set of data then of course add it we'll do that one at the end of the day we're returning uh, that particular spacecraft okay so that's it that's what we're going to do in fact what we simply come over right here we're going to uh, just come here and then say space ops which is our array list in fact we don't even need to do that one we can simply come and then call our get data method so get data this is going to populate of course our spacecraft okay right here so come get data this is going to populate our spacecraft array list once we've done that one of course we have our spinner right here we need to set its adapter so we're going to come right here sp that set adapter then we're going to pass in our instance of our custom adapter so new custom adapter we pass in the context we pass in this then of course we pass in our spacecraft's collection so that's it that's how we're going to set our adapter but of course we'd like to handle our own item selected listener not to do that one let's come right here and say sp the set on item selected what we want is that if uh, the user selects a single item we want uh, to display in a toast what is just selected okay the name of that particular spacecraft so we're going to over right here then simply come and then display a toast come right and say toast add to make text then here we're simply going to say spacecrafts okay then dot get then we pass in the index which is i then of course this is going to give us a spacecraft object we get the name that's what we're going to display this that's it this is our class right here this is how we're going to work uh, with our custom adapter okay uh, this is how we're going to work with our custom spinner with card views with images and text let's run our project and have a look project here is what we are getting okay we can see right here we have our nice spinner right here with our card views we click a single item we're able to get the item actually we select we're able to get the item that we've actually uh, selected right here okay so this is it this is what uh, we've looked at now i'm hoping you guys have enjoyed the tour if you have hit the like button share it and also subscribe take care i'll catch you in the next tutorial